you guys think of that new Honda ADV150 that's coming out? As soon as I saw it come out in uh, what was it, Thailand or whatever, I thought it was pretty sweet looking. Um, then Honda announced that they were going to bring it to the U.S. And uh, I'm very excited. To the point where I'm, I'm considering one. Um, I do have a few gripes about it though. Because after I did a little more research on it. Uh, it seems to be that it's basically just a Honda PCX 150. With new plastics on it. And maybe, maybe slightly better upgraded suspension. Honda is basically uh, advertising it as like this adventure off-road scooter and that's sweet. I think it's fucking awesome. But, like I said, after doing the research, it's really not geared towards adventure riding. The suspension's not that great. The ground clearance is not that great. Um, the motor is, uh, is pretty small, the 150. I was hoping for at least a 300. Um, 150 scooters are, are not really... Scooters in general in, in the United States are not popular. Um, let alone a little 150. You can't really go on the highway with it. So that's one of my gripes. The ground clearance is not that great. It's got small uh, wheels on it. I think they're the same size as the, the Grom wheels. They honestly might be the same wheels as the Grom. I don't know. But it's still pretty sweet. And I'm seriously considering it, but there has been no reviews yet in the United States on it. It's not out yet, but you would think at least like some magazine companies would, would have it. Because um, it's, it's supposed to be here. Honda says it's supposed to be here June of 2020. And here it is, June 2020. And I still have heard nothing about it. Um, but I'd still like to see. I'd still like to eventually get one. Just because, like I said, I think they're pretty sweet. Uh, I thought about maybe trading in my Grom for one, but I don't think I can ever do that. I don't think I can get rid of my Grom. My Grom is just fucking awesome. I, I, I just can't ever get rid of this thing. Um, I would like to trade something in just because the price tag is a little too steep for me. Or I feel like it's too steep for the bike in general. They want $42.99 for it. And I for a little 150cc scooter, that's a little pricey. That's, I think, a little ridiculous. Um, so, um, another gripe is that it only comes in black. In the United States anyway. Overseas it comes in like red, white, silver, and black. And I think the red is the best. Red is the best color. Uh, along with white. But uh... They're only going to offer black in the United States. Which kind of sucks. It's kind of a bummer. Another, you know, downfall in my opinion. Um, they do make a... Honda A to B 750, I believe it is. And that thing's got like 70 horsepower or something like that. 60, 70 horsepower. And, and that scooter is actually geared towards adventure riding. Like you can actually go off-road with that thing. It's got enough ground clearance, plenty of power, and it looks very rugged. Suspension is great on it. The ADV 150, not so much. Again. You always have the aftermarket. I've been doing a lot of research and uh, you could do aftermarket shocks and springs. Uh, you do crash protection. Um, all the different types of protection for it. 
And uh, I'm basically asking you guys, what do you think of the ADV 150? I know basically 99.9% .9 of you, if I even get any views on this video, are gonna be like, wow, that's gay. That's, you know, that fucking sc scooters are for pussies, just get a bike. Um, but I like tiny vehicles. I just, that's, uh, that's why I have a Grom. I love my Grom. Um, but uh, for the other 0.1% of you, what do you guys think? What are your opinions on it? Do you think it's worth the price? Do you think they should have uh, maybe swapped in a 250 or 300cc motor? I mean, that's that's what I think they should have done. Um, do you think they should have brought the 750 over? So that's basically just a quick... This is my quick opinion of, of it. Uh, when it does come out, I do 100% plan on going to the dealer and test riding it to see what it's about. I'm going to have to see if I can get a deal on it. I, I really don't want to spend $42.99 because then after tax and setup fees, document fees, all that other crap, you're looking at like over five grand out the door and that that's ridiculous. I don't want to spend more than like 4500 out the door for that thing. Um, and I don't think it's going to sell well. So hopefully, maybe I'll just wait a little bit until like next year and maybe get a, a leftover. Um, uh, but I really don't want to wait because that thing is, like I said, that thing is pretty sweet. Um, I looked at other scooters. But I'm not, I'm not a big scooter fan. The only other scooter that I would consider is maybe the Yamaha, uh, what is it, the X-Max 300. I think that thing is pretty cool, the styling of it. Uh, but it, it's not an adventure scooter. I don't, I don't think any other company makes an adventure scooter. Um, so that's why I'm leaning more towards the Honda. Even though I just said technically it's more geared towards the aesthetics and not the actual performance of the off-road capability that an adventure anything would have. Um, it's still, I still think it looks the best. Um, like I said, I would eventually put like crash bars on it, upgrade the suspension for sure, um, put some saddlebags on it, and I'd even like to fucking tour on the thing. Um, they claim it does 73 miles an hour. Now that's on a, probably a flat surface, and maybe even tucking. <laughs> so, up by where I live, where all these hills are, I'll probably be doing 40 miles an hour. So I'll basically be uh, the two guys from uh, Dumb and Dumber when they're when they're on the little moped, doing like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> in the freezing cold, that'll be me. I mean, that's kind of me right now with the ground. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, because uh, I'm, I'm pretty interested in it, and I have not seen anyone else from the U.S. interested in it. I, I'm probably the only person <laughs> that wants a 150cc adventure scooter. Um, so yeah, just let me know. All right, let's do a zero to whatever, because I don't think it's going to do us 60 miles an hour going uphill. All right, we'll start it now. Full throttle. a lot of speed during that shift. 55. Going downhill now. 60. Woo! All right. 
high tuck mode. Let's hope no deer uh, fly out in front of me. About 65 maybe. That's it. That's all I'm getting today. It's very damp out, so uh, the motor doesn't like that. That's an awesome view.